Hi there, today we're looking at sales orders and how to easily make a or create a purchase order once you get a sales order. You'll see this is normal sales order with the information uh, at the top about the order, when, when we got it, etc. Uh, the billing information and also the shipping information for this customer. We've got an area here that we've developed for the financial information including the total POs that have been issued, the total invoices that are issued, and our total margin. You can see it's 100% at the moment, obviously, because we have no cost. Uh, you'll see um, three items in our quotation, or sorry, our sales order, and then our terms and conditions down here. You'll see one invoice has been issued. This is a deposit. I can see that because pro forma deposit invoice and you can see we've got no purchase orders. So to create a purchase order all we need to do is uh, select the create purchase order button at the top, click OK and you'll see now that a purchase order has in fact been created. You'll see that it's got a total of zero at the moment but uh, when we have a look the first thing we have to do is actually uh, we'll just update the status here. We'll need to change the uh, ch sorry um, create the vendor so we'll do that in a moment here so this vendor will be used here we've got uh, we'll approve it just to save me a bit of time uh, we can enter the customer name customer name here plus the customer um, account name here this is the contact We've got our address as the billing address and this is the client address for shipping. And you'll see that it's brought the costs across rather than the actual um, uh, selling price. So we've picked up the cost. Um, now often when you get a sales order, it's not just as simply uh, simple as one order means placing one order with your supplier. Sometimes the order may have several items that you've got to source from different suppliers. So in this case we'll assume that's the arrangement and we'll remove item 3 because we buy that from a, a different vendor. Uh, we can put the terms here, we'll be uh, just put net 30 and then we'll have delivery instructions, uh, delivery to the back door something like that and now we'll save. What we'll do now is we'll have a sorry we'll have a quick look at what that purchase order looks like. And you see we've got our two items, we've got our terms, we've got the amount and now that's basically ready to go out. Now we're going to return to our our order here. And you'll see it's already started to do some calculations for us here. You, so you can see there that uh, we've got one PO, that's the total, now our margin's here. Alright, so that's very useful. So we're going to create our second purchase order now. So we've now got the second purchase order created. I'm just going to, let's have a look. Pick our vendor, and we'll use a different vendor this time. And remember, we'll remove those two products because we're just ordering the third item from this vendor. And we'll return to our sales order. And now you should see we've got the two uh, invoices, or sorry, purchase orders uh, available. Now our accounting up here should still say that we've got one and the reason for that is the status. So this one's not yet approved. So we'll go into that invoice. We'll have it now approved so it can be sent out or that purchase order. And if we return to our sales order, we should see that that is now updated. That's our total margin and that's our percentage of margin. Alright, so that's how easy it was to create two purchase orders to two different vendors from one sales order, all done uh, through a script that we've developed for a button on the sales, sales order screen. If you would 
like to learn more or would be interested in implementing this idea in your own business, you can contact us at Cloud Solutions, which is uh, inquiry with an E, inquiry at cloudsolutions.asia. Thank you.